when you are constipated, not going every day, or you do go and your stools are hard or hard to get out, you're actually eliminating a lot more of the weight causing, disease causing, symptom causing, and addiction causing acids than when you go every day and your stools are not perfectly formed. Maybe they're too skinny, they're too soft, they're too mushy, they're too loose. This confuses clients all the time, so I'm going to try to visually explain this to you as to what physiologically is going on and why if you too have daily but not very well formed stools, we'll find that as you go through this program and your stools slow down, the frequency slows down, that you too will look and feel better when that happens. So in the ideal state, what's happening is when the acids enter into your bowel, they are perfectly being formed into a stool. Every day your bowel is squeezing just a teeny bit and if all that acidity is well formed, when it squeezes a teeny bit, that all comes out, comes out as a well formed stool and there's no unformed acids to go back and create fat, disease, and symptoms. On the other hand, the complete opposite end of this spectrum, if there's a lot of acidity coming into the bowel and very little of it is formed into a stool, usually because your bowel is unhealthy, the bacterial environment, and also because there's just a lot of it, you're talking years and decades worth of stored acids, if very little that's formed into a stool, there's a lot of unformed acids. And what these unformed acids do is they irritate your bowel. And that irritation causes that bowel, which normally squeezes just a teeny bit, to squeeze a ton, kind of like a laxative. So the unformed acids cause this intense squeezing. And that's why you're eliminating. But what's coming out are these skinny, loose, mushy stools. They're partly mushy because your body also brings water into the bowel to dilute those acids and protect you from them. But at the same time that a little bit of the stool is getting eliminated, there's a lot of acidity being reabsorbed, causing fat, disease, and symptoms. When you're constipated, again, the stools are maybe hard or you're not going every day, you're somewhere in between that ideal elimination and that lousy elimination. So you might have the same amount of acids in the bowel, but a much healthier bowel bacterial environment, like you're creating with the acidophilus and the bowel strength. And so a greater amount of this gets formed into a stool. And there's less unformed acids to irritate the bowel. So since we don't have a ton of unformed acids, the bowel is not triggered to squeeze aggressively and become irritated like it is when you're going daily. So maybe the bowel squeezes just a little bit, but the stool is also not as well formed as in the ideal elimination, and it's difficult for the body to, to squeeze that out, if you will. The lack of all these unformed acids, however, prevents the water from going into there to, to, into there to dilute it, and that um, also makes the stools just a little bit harder than the frequent loose, mushy stool situation. In this situation, versus the daily not well-formed stools, there are fewer unformed acids causing fat disease and symptoms. Constantly, I find that clients that come in with frequent poorly formed stools, when they get to this state, which you usually do, it's pretty hard to go from horrible elimination to perfect elimination overnight, when they get to this state, they consistently are losing weight, they're consistently feeling better, they have less aches, more energy, craving less sugar, and they're doing better mentally, they're usually disturbed by the lack of frequent elimination, but physically they always feel better. So I hope that helps. If you need more explanation about these concepts, look in chapter six of my book, This Works, Crutches Don't.